Hello everyone, close to 250 subs here, Calamity here. And today I thought I'd do a follow-up video to the card game that was introduced in 3.3. Uh, this isn't going to be like a guide or a tutorial of how to play. This is more of just like my two cents. It's, I did react to the gameplay that was uh, showcased earlier this month. And I finally got around to checking out the card game itself now that I finished the story portion of the update. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed by the game mode itself. I I didn't know what to expect going in. I'm not really the biggest fan of card games. I do like some of them very, very casually. And this is a very, very casual card game. Uh, the, the tutorial was kind of lengthy, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty uh, easy to get into. And I feel like because you're familiar with a lot of the characters that are in it, right? You use a lot of the characters and their abilities. You're kind of familiar with how it works. Same with elemental reactions. If you you know if you you're not too new to Genshin Impact and you know how the elemental reactions work, like melt, vaporize, like freeze, you know how to set that up basically. So having it in the game, it may, it's familiar. You know how to do it. It's not. It doesn't make it seem as compl complex. That being said, I'm also very surprised that this uh, game is very free to play friendly. Hoyoverse definitely could have gone a greedy route and made it so that. You know, in order to get all the cosmetic stuff or even more cards, you had to pay money or primo gems for it. Like, imagine if they did that. That would be awful. But they didn't. They chose to go a really, really nice uh, free-to-play route. You can earn everything in the game uh, with, with the in-game currency that you, you buy. <clears throat> or you earn, sorry. You, you earn this in-game currency from playing the card game with other AI-controlled opponents. I don't know if you've... You earn any currency if you play uh, real people. You can actually play another player, uh, like people on your friends list if you want. Um, I don't know if there's like random matchmaking, if you, if you just want some random person to uh, play the card game with. I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't tested that. But yeah, I should have some background footage of me trying to play uh, the card game in the back. Uh, and I gotta say, once again, that, I, again, I'm very impressed. And if you are a new player, or uh, not a new player, sorry. If you're a free-to-play player or a low spender, check out the card game because it does give you a good amount of Primo Gems. Like, there's a whole leveling system similar to, like, Adventure Rank, where every time you level up, you're given, like, 60 Primo Gems or something like that. And you're also given Primo Gems for the quest. You're also given Primo Gems for doing um, achievements. So there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of Primo Gems. I don't know how much in total, but... Uh, I would say a decent amount to, you know, at least spend your time uh, doing so. And there's no rush uh, either with the card game. Like, seriously, take your time with it. It is permanent content, which is nice compared to, like, a limited time event. So it, it's going to be in the game literally forever uh, from now on. So, uh, you know, whenever you have free time or, you you know, you're finally done exploring Sumeru or, you know, you've caught up on the story and, and you're just looking for something to do and get some extra Primo Gems while you're at it, uh, the card game is a perfect way to do so. But yeah, this video is not going to be too long. Um, I just wanted to share my two cents on it. I don't plan on making guides on, on the card game anytime soon. I'm just, you know, I'm not really good at these things myself. I'm just playing it very casually. Uh, but if you are curious, I've been using Sucrose a lot as my main active character for the most part. Because when she uses her skill, it forces the opponent to swap their active character. And I find the AI doesn't like that too much and they'll waste their turn trying to swap back obviously this gets countered with other stuff but i'm not gonna get into it that much but i've just been using sucrose a lot basically uh, i'm still fairly new so i don't have a lot of uh cards uh available to me both character cards and like the artifact stuff and equipment stuff but just overall and just to reiterate i am really enjoying the new card game it's 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 fun you know We'll see how everyone enjoys it in a couple more weeks, but I could definitely see the card game being something that Hoyoverse decides to add even more cards uh, in the future, right? Uh, like as we get more characters, more uh, weapons, more like just more stuff in general, they could just add, uh, and it could be really a really fun game mode to uh, to play while you're just it just gives you something extra to do. It's like the teapot. Mess around with it so you can get your Primo Gems, but you don't have to, like, dedicate hours and hours of it every day just to get the most out of it, and that's nice. Are you all enjoying the new card game? Uh, let me know what kind of deck you're running so I can copy it. 
Um, but that's all for now. I just wanted to make a short video updating my thoughts on the card game. Subscribe if you like the vid, and I'll see you on the next one.